Philadelphia and definitely getting the East Coast vibes. And also I am standing right in front of the Curtis Institute of Music because I'm here now for the summer organ intensive and I'm super pumped up and excited. So we'll see what happens next. I have a really nice view from the practice room. This is a really nice old building right here. death last night. It was really cold and like I even when I turned the air conditioning down a little bit I didn't want to turn it down too much because I live in a suite with the three other classmates who are women. There are four women and, and two men so yay. Um, I didn't want to upset my roommates or anything but um, I just wanted to turn the air conditioning down a little bit because it was still freezing cold. finished my three lessons for the day but we still have studio class and I'm gonna do some practicing over at Curtis in the meantime we're staying at Glenfest Hall which is a little walk away so I'm walking back to Curtis um, the improv lesson is really interesting first I got to do an improvisation for him based on a chant him that he gave me really nice and then he started off we went back to the basics and I harmonized did two degree second degree counterpoint second species counterpoint using scales it was really nice um, I think I'm going the wrong way and then the the lesson with Professor Morrison was really interesting oh um, I keep forgetting to mention the improv teacher is Professor Glenn Dorf. Then went to Field Concert Hall and ran over there because it's right after my improv lesson with Professor Morrison. And that's it's really interesting because the organ was, despite being electrodomatic, it's not quite the same as the one at Pasadena Presbyterian Church, though, although it's similar. And it took me a, lot, a while to get used to, especially with the pedal board. It just felt weird, but I'm gonna practice on it tonight. See what we'll can work out some time with my classmates. We'll get definitely some time to practice on it. There's only six of us. They limit enrollment to six students. And I was so embarrassed about how much I messed up. It just had me thinking that if I had auditioned for Curtis this year to transfer to a Master of Music degree, I would have been rejected for sure. <laughs> because <laughs> I would be have been auditioning on that organ and wouldn't be used to it. I would have been a mess, so I would have been rejected. I'm lucky that I get to come here for the summer. This really is like this is really special. And you know, I'm not the only grad student either. There's a classmate of mine who is going to be a grad student this fall, and then another one who got his bachelor's degree in taking a gap year. Be fun and then we're approaching Curtis right now. It's here and
actually I'm less garbage than I was. Uh, I'm less garbage than I was this morning during the lesson. Hopefully it just gets worse. This practice room is free and if you notice the clock and the placement of everything if you watched two set violins video where they auditioned for Curtis they took their at least one of them I think it was Brett took his violin sample lesson in this room but the only difference in that video is that the electric organ is not there but it's there now so I can practice on it Someone fix our musical clock, please. Okay, so today at studio class, uh, Professor Morrison taught us how to properly breathe and to be more aware of our body and to take frequent breaks when practicing. He taught us a special way of stretching and breathing at the same time that's, it's, it's like clockwork, no pun intended. Um, and I'll show it to you now. Um, it really helps you relax before you get on the organ or before you play any instrument. And he said to just feel like you're floating in the air or that you're underwater. Now that I'm all stretched up and relaxed, I'm ready to practice for the evening in here. Uh, me and the boys are uh, at Macy's for our lessons on the Wanamaker organ, which is the world's largest fully functioning organ. I'm gonna make sure I get a turn on. Uh, I have awesome transcription by the transcribed from Peter Warlock's Caprell suite that I'm hoping to play. A hundred years later, McKenna finally got out of jail. now in the old building. I'm heading to my lesson in Field Concert Hall. I already have my lesson at Macy's today. Today is the most, is the day that I will have, that I will have had. So 
four lessons in keyboard. So I had an organ lesson this morning, Macy's. Then I've got this one in Field Concert Hall on my or other organ repertoire. And then an, a harpsichord lesson upstairs. And then I run back to the other building for an organ improv lesson. So it'll be the most number of lessons I will have had any day of my life. They were not kidding when they said this is a summer organ intensive. a little like you're afraid at the beginning. Play it like you mean that out. So maybe a little stronger touch to the bottom of the key. So they're not all dropping. We get the strong lead. Toccata um, kind of pattern. So the first note of each um, left hand groove, just try not to but let it be more bubbly. Listen to your pinky more. I think you'll be happier with the sound. Maybe getting into this, again, don't make it sound like you're hitting a piston and then trying to <laughs> start with the pedal. Again, think of conducting so that what happens in between the beat is a little more natural. Hi everyone, I'm in the harpsichord room. We had harpsichord lessons for the first three days of our 10 days. And we're organ intensive, but I did not receive permission to film these. We were paired up, so we had the lessons in pairs, so I had a classmate with me, and we switched off on the harpsichord, which is this instrument right here. So yes, I'm currently in the room where we had the lessons, and as you can see, it's very neat and tidy, and it's very quiet though, and um, really love it. Our professor is amazing. He taught us like wonderful technique of like having the hand up here and a lot of stuff I already knew, but it was like a nice refresher and the stuff I didn't knew like filled in the holes in my knowledge. And it was nice to have like that, the reinforcing of like proper technique and gave us some, some sheets like table of ornaments right from Francois Couperin's book. I've, forgive me if I'm pronouncing this wrong and then we have like, this is a um, facsimile. So it's a by hand copy of an original manuscript. I think it was Couperin who wrote this too. We learned a lot about the French piece. The French did a lot of ornamentation because Louis XIV, when he, was when he was the king of France, he paid a lot. He spent a lot of money on the arts, which is great for artists. I would have loved to have been working in Louis XIV's world and I'll demonstrate uh, some of what we learned by playing this line. The, the, this, I'll play a little bit of portamento over that.
Hi everyone. Uh, I'm gonna talk about what happened in studio class. Right after I recorded the harpsichord, I had to go to studio class and you said some of us would play, but only one of us got to play and it was me and it wasn't because I volunteered. It was because he asked me to play. Um, yeah, and he talked a lot. He went into detail, like an entire lecture about Florence Price, which is all great for everybody else. But then there's me who wants to learn about every organ composer there is so I can be able to ID the scores when I next go audition at Yale. He talked about like an overview of, of Florence's works for organ and her many accomplishments. And I also got to learn about Marian Anderson, who was friends with Florence Price, who was African American singer, who was a late bloomer at the Metropolitan Opera. And she's actually she's actually really good. Um, that was fun learning about her. They changed the name of the Kimmel Center. We're gonna go there. And he also talked about the history of the Curtis Civil Organ Intensive and how it started. It actually started at the Kimmel Center, not at the Curtis Institute of Music. It started at the Kimmel Center Summer Organ Intensive. But then they stopped funding it. So they moved it over to Curtis. And he started collaborating with Professor Conti. I'm just heading out of Curtis right No, 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 there isn't. Yeah. It's still kind of light outside. It's not quite the summer solstice yet. Um, yeah, you too. He said that, he said this really, this noteworthy comment that I still remember. He said that they've always limited it to six students. And he, he actually said, we get a lot of applicants for this thing. If that's true, then I guess that means that I managed to get in despite some fierce competition. I don't know. Um, what I do know is that uh, there were at least seven people who applied. I had a friend who applied and did not get in. It was really sad. But uh, I have an interesting group of classmates and I appreciate them. So I'm walking back to Glen Festival at night alone. So I will come out and see you all again soon. Hi everyone. Uh, here's today's update. I decided, you know, since I'm waiting for my improv lesson, which is at 11.30, that I would film with the beautiful Episcopal Church behind me. Sorry about the scaffolding. I guess they're doing some work down there. But um, my, I have my lesson at Macy's this morning, and I was hoping to get consent to take videos of myself performing there, but uh, he said no. Uh, well, I can take videos and recordings, but I'm not allowed to post them, so the reason why there are no videos of me playing the Wanamaker organ on this video or on YouTube available to the public are because I don't have permission to post these. It makes me kind of disappointed, honestly. I'm still feeling that disappointment. Um, and I'm sorry that I can't post videos of me playing the Wanamaker organ for you guys. Um, I hoped it would be okay, but it's not, so I I just can't post those videos. <laughs> but uh, if you want to hear me play uh, the Wanamaker organ someday, uh, maybe in heaven, but I'll try and get some pictures of me at the organ at the very least and eventually I will record the Capriol Suite. It could be somewhere on some nice organ. I'm just lucky that I'm able to film anything about my Curtis experience but I'll talk about playing the Wanamaker organ since I can't record myself playing it. I'll at least talk about what it sounds like and later on uh, 
I'll give my post-concert notes. All right, take care, everyone. Okay, so right, 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 right. So then we have to we have to be looking ahead. This is the other very important factor: is that we're always thinking ahead. So when you see the interval four, three, five, three, five, three, five, so then you know fourth da 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 third dum bum fifth da 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 third dum ba 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 bum right? Yeah. So that felt like you weren't quite looking ahead. start showing a phrase that a lot of people do, which is it's it's maybe too big and then or you run out of room and then you're like, so you can make small phrases. You'd be like, you know, like if it's a gasp, you'd be like, the audience doesn't want to hear that. And that's also the nose thing when people go, like no one wants to hear that, right? And and you're doing great. You, you didn't do that.
Oh God! What are these close-ups? <laughs> it's actually kind of nice. <laughs> it's just a bit too close. <laughs>
very much. I absolutely loved the Curtis experience. I'm going to absolutely love performing in the performances tomorrow and since I can't record my Macy's pieces which are the three movements from Caprio Suite, I did record them on Field Concert Hall. So I'll overlay the audio for that on top of my concert photos that I get at Macy's because I am allowed to post photos and I, I'm gonna miss everything here. I'm gonna miss the organs, the churches, uh, the classmates. I had a wonderful group of classmates. They're so fun to be with and so fun to talk to. And the RCs, I really appreciated them too. I took us out to Gelato tonight, which was really, really nice. I'm gonna miss playing in the field concert hall on the organ, whose name, her name is Scarlet Skinner. And Watermaker Organ's name is Baby. I kind of like that because um, my parents have a corgi that they call her name is Baby. Her full name is Baby Cord. Her name is Baby. So I think of Baby and Watermaker Organ. I think of Baby Cord and vice versa. Uh, sadly, I don't get to go home to Asheville, which isn't really home anymore. I'm actually missing being in Southern California a little bit, but I know I'm going to be back there soon, and then I'm going to miss being here, of course. What I meant to say was I'm not going to get to go see my parents in North Carolina, and oddly enough, my mom's actually in California. She got there a few days before I came here, and then a week after I get back, she's leaving. Ironically, I think it's because neither of us knew I was going to get into this program. It really was a nice surprise for me. It was amazing that I got to come here. I'm so grateful for my experience. And 
I'm glad that I was able to document my journey. Take care everyone and have a good night.